7-7, simple and compound interest. This is where we talk about loans, we talk about savings accounts, we talk about banking actually because interest is, is the way that the bank makes money and it's also a way for you to make money if you have money deposited in the bank. So let's look at the most common. The most common um, form of interest is going to be simple but before we do that the um, uh, the interest formula looks like this. And let's see if I can get the board to recognize that. It sure will. Okay. And so in this case, I is interest P equals principal alright principal and then R equals rate how much your interest is going to be, and then T is time. Now, very important in this formula that the time is in years. So everything we have to do is in years. So we will have to convert some things here in just a minute, but I will show you how that works. So let's get to an example. Um, let's say that you want to buy a car for $4,000. Okay, you're going to buy a car for $4,000 and the interest rate, okay, we got some, is 9% for three years. Okay, so let's remember our formula. Interest equals principal times rate times time. Principal is the amount of money that you borrow. It's what you start with. So we're going to take interest equals, I'm going to put everything in parentheses because it's going to be multiplication. Principal times rate. Now, here's where we have to go back to what we've done the last couple of days. If I want to do 9%, I need to change 9% into a decimal. So remember from yesterday, we take 9% and we move the decimal two places. So it's 0 0.09 as a decimal, so we can multiply that well. And then we multiply times the time, which is three years. And so once we multiply that out, we get an interest of $1,080 is how much interest we'll have to pay to the bank over three years. Now that will tell us that if I took my first amount plus my interest, and this isn't part of the problem, I'm just going on with this one just to show you that that $4,000 car is going to cost me after three years it's going to have to, it's going to cost me five thousand eighty dollars again this is how banks make money they charge you interest for borrowing their money because they have lots of money and typically we don't so that's a simple um, a simple interest rate and that works for for houses that works for vehicles motorcycles motorhomes boats uh, whatever you borrow money for jewelry um, credit cards different types of stuff now how we can make money. This is called compound interest. Okay, compound interest. Let's say that you've saved a lot of money throughout the years and you're going to deposit it in um, in a savings account. So let's say that you have seven thousand five hundred dollars. 
and you're going to get an interest rate of let's say 8% compounded for three years. Okay. Now, what compound interest is, is this. At the end of one year, you will have made some money. So it's going to add to that 7500 and then the next year you'll make money off of that money. So we actually have to do three different uh, equations, one for each year. So we've got interest equals principal times rate times time. Now, in this case, time, we're not going to put three years. We have to do each year individually. So the first year, and I'm just going to signify this with a 1, is going to be 7,500. Okay, that's your principal times your rate. And we'll get really good at figuring these. These are just 0 0.08, moving that decimal two places. And then that's how much we're going to make in one year. And that answer is going to be $600. That's the money we're going to make. So in the second year, the amount of money we have in there is our 7,500 that we started with plus the 600 that we made. So our initial principal this time is going to be 8,100. And then we times that times 0 0.08. And I'm not going to put the times 1 this time because times 1 is not going to change anything. So that tells me I make another $648. And so $648 plus the $8,100 is going to be $8,748 times the 0 0.08. Get my calculator here. 7.48 times 0 0.08. Let's try that again. 87.48 times 0 0.08. And that comes out to be 699.84. So if you wanted to know how much we had at the end of three years, you're going to take your 87, 48, and you're going to add to that the 699.84 for a grand total of, let's do this real quick, we got 17, 14, 14. So if you left your money in that savings account for three years without touching it, you would walk away with $9,447.84. Now, if they ask you the total amount of interest that you made over that time, you can do two things. You can add all of the interest together, or you can take your total, 9447 9,447.84 and just subtract what you started with which would be $7,500 and so the actual interest that you made is $1,947.84 so it just depends on what they ask you if they ask you what your ending balance is or if they ask you how much interest you made all right, that's simple compound interest. That's, uh, that's why banks make money, because they have money to give, and, and we need to borrow it for different things. So very real-life application. We'll talk about some things on Monday, some more problems. We'll also talk about what to do if it goes in monthly. Maybe they say it's in for six months or 18 months or 32 months, and we'll figure that out on Monday in class. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you.